Rodney, we need to talk. What's wrong, honey? I want a baby. I want a baby too. The doctor said my little swimmers are primed and ready to go. I know, but my hips can't handle a baby from a man as large as you. We'll get through it together. No. Big man equals big baby. It's simple genetics. Honey, I don't think you understand how childbirth works. Don't mansplain childbirth to me. Hey, babe. Did you tell him yet? What the hell are you doing here? Brad's hips are dainty. Giving birth to his baby would be a breeze. Look at my tiny child-sized waist, bro. Slide right out. Humans aren't born full size. You don't have to push a human through your uteral cavity. You mean uterus. Don't make me lay hands on you, bro. I think the lady made herself clear, and she doesn't want those broad, muscular swimmer's shoulders coming out of her, okay? You know how tiny my love canal is. Look at Brad. He's so frail. I don't mean to brag, bro, but my shoulders are so narrow that from the back, most people think I'm a lollipop. You aren't using common sense here. Think back to your childhoods. You were so much smaller. Then slowly, over time, you grew until you were about 18 and you reached full height. Please tell me any of this is ringing a bell. I'm not like your blue whale of a mother, Rodney. My Filipino tubes are teeny tiny and they can't handle your gargantuan Andre the Giant sperm. Fallopian tubes. And you literally need a microscope to examine sperm. That's why we went to the doctor. How do you know his sperm even works properly? <laughs> as far as I know, I haven't hit menopause yet, so uh, I'm pretty sure I'm all good in that department. <laughs> menopause only happens to women. Then why is it called menopause? Plus, look at these tiny size three feet. They're gonna have no problem hopping out a trap door. Your size 12s? No way those are gonna fit. You know what they say about men with big feet. Bro, look at these hands! Look how tiny they are! You just can't compete with these! The public education system has failed you both. <laughs> Joke's on you, because I went to private school. Plus, it doesn't take a scientist to be able to tell that I bought these dibs from the baby cap. I am literally the size of an emaciated child! See? He's perfect for me. I can't tell if I'm more angry or just shocked at how stupid you both are. You know what? I thought this could be amicable, but I can't sit here through this misogyny. Let's go, Brad. Catch you on the flip side, Dikembe Madumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Let me grab that sweet behind of yours, baby. Oh, baby, I'm come gonna on. Take you, I'm gonna take you to Sizzler, wine you or dine you. I'm talking full buffet, surf and turf, all you can drink fountain soda.